Hello everyone. Uh, told you I'd be working on the uh, cub. What we've got here is uh, a number of failures on this that we're going to try to take care of. Let me uh, turn it around and give you a real quick rundown on what we've got to do here. First thing, if you look at that real close, you'll see the bearings on that power takeoff unit. Half of them are gone and the other half are missing. Where in fact, actually, that whole thing has welded itself together. And uh, my blades are on 100% of the time that the motor is. So that's got to be replaced. I've got the new one as soon as I can find it. I've got the new one. We've got to figure out how to get this one off. Okay. Now we've started taking this apart already. We're going to be taking this hood off. But the second thing that has happened here is right there where my finger is pointing. We have a major height right there coming out of that, a major hydraulic leak. I found that out when uh, all of a sudden while mowing the yard the other day, it uh, just quit moving. And it took me 10 minutes to, to get this thing to move 20 feet to get it back up here where we can park it and start taking it apart. Now, the third thing we gotta do, I'll have to show you later. It hooks to it hooks to the steering wheel and it is what I call the manifold it's actually they say the hydraulic uh, valve it's what runs all the hydraulics on here that steering wheel goes straight into it it's leaking like a sieve and we haven't been able to keep uh, hydraulic oil in this thing for a couple of years so we're going to tear this down I'm going to take you along step by step a little by little let's put it that way and uh, we'll show you from time to time as we gain access as we try to get something taken care of and as we get it fixed so until then I'll be back okay we've been working on it now for the last couple of hours and uh, use the power washer on it and this is what we've got now laid it out here and I think I showed you this area here which is a crack which is this this pipe here has to be replaced it goes down and I'm going to try to see if I can zoom in this piece right here that's the piece that has to be completely rebuilt if you notice the steering column the steering wheel here right there goes right directly into it but and you can't see it from here and the ground is too wet for me to get down and show you from underneath but all of the hydraulic lines you can see some in here here's another one they all seem to coordinate oh that's not one okay oh well anyway they all seem to consolidate down underneath that so we have to take this out and the more I'm looking at it, the more okay, we have to take this out. And the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm thinking if we can get it out, this out here, the steering column, undo all of the hydraulics that are underneath, that might just come out with a couple of bolts. That's what it kind of looks like to me. But anyway, we will keep you track here. And uh, as we progress, we will uh, keep you all posted. I thought I would show you all this a little bit here. This is the front hood of my cub. You can tell there's headlights. But when we took it off yesterday, we realized that the mounting brackets right here were all broken. Okay, here's, here's the one right here. You can see it's all broken apart in the pieces, and that mounts right here. Okay, now the one that belongs here is all of those little pieces. So we're going to do some gluing, and we're going to 
start off with this Loctite glue, which is pretty doggone good. It'll bond your fingers together with no problem whatsoever. We're going to start off with that, and we're going to go into this epoxy that we're going to use and mix up and put it on there. And then, after all that is said and done, we will probably end up covering it with some fiberglass. So the first thing we got to do is get this down there. We're going to get it power washed and get her cleaned up so that everything will stick and adhere. And uh, then we'll get started once it's all dry. Boy, did we ever open up a can of worms yesterday. Got some good news and some bad news. We went, I was trying to show you the other day the uh, the device that was hanging there. It's a power steering unit. We had that all torn apart. Had springs flying everywhere. To find out that the seal kit that we got for it was for a different valve. As a matter of fact, the seal kit we got for it was for this. So, we uh, spent the day a little bit of the day down at the parts store getting the seal kit made for the or ordered for this five times the cost of the seal kit for that and it'll do be due in here at the end of the week now I showed you also the hydraulic line that was down in here well, we took that in at the same time, and we also took this little uh, fitting in there to find out that the fitting was possibly our whole problem. So, this place, because they made a mistake and gave us the wrong seal kit, they handed me one of them and said Merry Christmas. But hopefully, that's all it's going to take, and we'll have click fix that problem in that leak. And then we'll get this thing rebuilt and we'll fix that problem in that leak. Now, we go to the front. Now look here, we got a brand new PTO sitting in there. That was the one thing that just bothered me to death and I was worried, I had sleepless nights and it just kind of slipped off, the old one slipped off and this one slipped on didn't have a worry in the world other than had to line it up so that it didn't hit when, when it turned. So we're in real good shape there. And uh, here's that fitting that, that they gave us. We'll get that put on here and this is the line laying there. So hopefully by Friday we can start putting this thing back together. Okay, this is the front of the shroud. Remember all the light telling your little pieces? Well, what we did is we super glued them all together, put them in there, and with a great suggestion, I did some epoxying to give it a little extra strength. Then I went and as you can see, I put in some plumber's tape. And uh, we're using some uh, the JB Weld steel reinforced epoxy to put on them and as soon as these things dry I'll flip it over and put a, another coat on the other side. Now, that's where we are today and I think what I'm going to end up doing is uh, getting this ready and uh, hopefully get this uploaded here tonight and we'll make this part run. Cub Cadet redo or repair part one and as I get the parts I'll uh, go ahead and continue on with a part two until we get it finished tested and, and make sure it's running and not leaking anymore uh, stay at homer y'all have a great day great evening whatever it is that you are in is as, as uh, if you're watching this give us a thumbs up like it share Tell your family, tell your friends, tell anybody you can think of. We'll be uh, catching y'all later. You have a great day now. Bye-bye.